Hi guys, I will show you how to upgrade the firmware in the function generator Siglent STG 2000X series. We must look for siglentamerica.com in any browser you prefer or siglenteu.com if you are in Europe or siglent.com Search for the tag of service and support. Look for firmware and software. Then the tag of firmware. May click on it and we will get the list of many products. Please pay attention. We are looking for XTG 2000X. Some of them look alike, but they are not what we are looking for. So make sure you will get the model you are looking for. May click in download. As soon as we get the file, we must discompress the file. There are several programs able to do it. You can use the one you prefer. My best advice when you're going to perform something like that is make sure your computer is virus free. We don't want corrupt software in our equipment. In the meanwhile, we're going to insert the memory stick. Your file fell probably in download or wherever you said you want it. In my case, I can drag the file from here to there. In the memory stick, I rename as firmware. Now, I will uncompress the file. I will copy it. And I will place it right there. In this file, I have what I need to upgrade the firmware in my device. And also, I have very important information from the company. It is the revision history. It's telling me everything has been fixed since the beginning of this unit. And you will find here from YouTube product review all the findings the guys found in this unit, Siglen has corrected them. And if you compare those videos with the information Siglen is giving to you, Siglen improved and corrected all those problems. And this is important for the first batch of units because there is a bug and they can freeze and do not turn on again. So it's very important to install the firmware because we are correcting all those kind of problems. The limitations of the hardware also has been improved with the software. I will install now this revision. So we have the file and let's go now with the unit. First step, make sure the electrical connection is right and it will not fall in the middle of the process. Now, let's turn on the unit. Insert the memory stick on the USB slot.
Press the key Utility. Select System. Select Page 1, 2. Select Firmware Update. Use the knob to select the unit. We are looking for USB device. Press the key Browse. With the knob, look for the ADS file. Press the key Recall. The USB memory stick is not needed anymore. This is the proper way how to flash the memory in your generator. My generator is from the first batch, from the first production. Chances were that it will start and the software will collapse in the beginning and don't ever start again. That's the reason I didn't lose time checking which version do I have. I just followed the recommendation from the fabricant and now I have a safe unit that I will share with you because it was a given from Siglin to keep teaching electronics in this channel. Thanks, Siglin, for your support.